Yo, what is going on guys? Dimku here and welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be releasing my render settings and my recording settings for OBS and Vegas. So yeah, let's get into it. So here is my uh, OBS and I'll go over my settings. So you probably want the stats thing with which is this is just like a dock or something. You go to view docs and then you click on stats. It just tells you more information about the, the recording I guess. So we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to my uh, settings, I guess so for recording I record in 240, but we can get to that later So basically I use mp4 and vanquish 264 h.264. I don't know what it is for AMD I only have experience with x264 and Nvidia encoder So yeah, I use nvenc because it's like better Rescale output is 1920 by 1080. Uh, I don't have anything checked and I use CQP and my CQ level is 24 and it looks really smooth. I know people use like 15, 14, 12, but I like it 24 because the bitrate looks fine to me. Anyways, the preset is max quality, the profile is high, and yeah, GPU is 0 and max B frames is 2. I just left those. My video is 1920 by 1080 for the base and output scaled resolution. I'm pretty sure this should be like your monitor's resolution and this should be like what you want to record in. So you can change that to like 2560 by 1440 if you want to record in 2K. I use by Cubic 16 samples, not by linear. So it looks, uh, you know, a little better, like not as blurry. And then the numerator is 240. So yeah, those are basically my output and video settings. For audio, I just use, this is what I use, I guess. Uh, I don't know if any th of this is important. <clears throat> Advanced, I use below normal and then direct 3D11, NV12, 601, and partial. I, I, I don't know if these are important, but that's what I have them at. And yeah, that should be my OBS recording settings. Now let me get to uh, my Vegas settings. Okay, so here we are in Vegas, and I'm just going to go over my settings for the timeline as well. So... Yeah, here are my project properties, and I guess you can just copy them down. Uh, I use Gaussian, but I know a lot of people use Box, but yeah. Here are my uh, timeline settings. So I'm going to just drag in my, my clip, I guess. And you want to press yes, so it just comes up in the frame you're recording in. Yeah, you go to File, Render As. I'm pretty sure you guys know this, and we're going to go over my settings. So yeah, these are my settings, so I'll show you my template. Now, if you don't have filters, you can just go over here and just pick any one of these. And it's Magix, AVC, AEC, MP4. And I have other YouTuber settings in here. But yeah, those that's what I do. And then I do favorites only, so it's cleaner. So yeah, here are my settings. And yeah, I know a lot of people use them because they're like the max. So we go profile main. I know a lot of people use high, but I like to use main. 60 FPS, but uh, 59.9, I guess. Uh, pixel aspect ratio, put that to one. Variable bit rate, 240, just make it the max. Max quality. NV encoder, preset is default. And VBR, and then we go to audio. This is my audio settings, system. Uh, I don't know if any of this is important. Just copy down this. And then for project, you want to do best and use project settings. <clears throat> and yeah, those are my renders. If you guys use my renders or recording settings and you like the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on the video. And I'll get back to a commentary eventually. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.